Uh, we are filming Skinny Atlas. We're currently at our garage scene and it's nice, bright and early in the morning. Uh, we have a couple locations we're filming today. We are going to be at the lawyer's office, uh, also in the salvage yard. And I think we have a couple driving scenes as well, so it should be pretty fun. Oh. That's a bear. I hope we don't start that so wild. Oh, yeah. It adds, adds flavor. Yeah. Nice shirt, Dr. J. Thank you. Huh? No frostbite for me. <laughs> For this particular movie, I wanted a location that uh, would be something interesting yeah. to the eye, mm -hmm. to the, of the viewer, when Rocky comes to to save Skinny, even though you know he's traveled down that road. And I wanted a, I wanted a place where, you know, it's almost total des desolation, but yet there is there is his savior right there. That she's going to stick by him, and that's really what this story is about. This uh, sal parts world salvage yard is the perfect place. He uh, Skinny has hit the bottom, rock bottom, and there she is to pull him out. We're all trying to get out of the shot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at? Get it. <laughs> How many hours of sleep did you get last night, Dr. J? Two. Two hours of sleep? Do you want to tell me what's going on in this scene? I have not a clue. I haven't read the script. <laughs> really? Oh, okay. It's not like you're important to the movie. Not anything. really. I, uh, not I just throw me in occasionally when I need me. So, Luis, why are you wearing those gloves again? Uh, because it, uh, First it was because it was cold. Thank you, very nice of you. <laughs> um, but now it's because they absorb any movement whenever I'm in the boom pole. Oh, and okay. It's more convenient. My name is Fred Russell, and I play Big Mike. So Mike is basically a gruff biker dude. So um, I had to let everything grow out. I can't wait to shave. <laughs> My name's Heather Gilbert and I'm playing the role of Raquel. Uh, Raquel's character is just a very strong uh, woman. She's not really like a damsel in distress. Uh, she's not afraid to do yard work. And then we get like a few clips in there where you kind of see like her grit, you know, and um, just a lot of strength, really. My name is Keith Pennell and I play Steve, otherwise known as Steve the Jerk. Steve the Jerk is uh, got into the astronaut corps and went up in space with the lead character Skinny, Skinny Atlas, and uh, apparently uh, 
They didn't get along, but he got into some issues, apparently with the mob, and um, so with the company he's working for, he's working with the CEO to embezzle money, but he's trying to frame Skinny for it. My name is Allison Allfield, and I play Hartley Cleaver. She is the attorney that Raquel uh, comes to initially, and then Raquel takes that opportunity to uh, talk to Hartley about the fact that uh, she would like to secure her services for Skinny Atlas. Um, my name is Robert Wiggum. Dr. Jenkins calls me Bobby. Judge Prescott is supposed to be kind of a no-nonsense kind of guy. Uh, you know, he, he has his moments where he's he's kind of lighthearted, but then he, uh, he's he's about all about business when it's time to do business. That's a character, a recurring character he's had in some of his little short films. My name is Brian Rougeau. Um, I am playing FBI agent number three, and uh, aside from that, I am also helping with audio, uh, working on the cameras, uh, and any odd job that we need, I am your go-to guy. Show us your boom mic. Okay, well, actually I haven't been using this one at all yet, but I'm gonna use it here soon. This is our uh, homemade DIY kit right here. <laughs> it's a thing of beauty and it works wonderfully. I think I leaned over at like 12 at Dan's house. We are on the set of Skinny Atlas. Dr. Jenkins' body double. How does it feel to be in one of his movies again? It feels great. <laughs> Can't wait to put this on my I am a I am the Sorry. <laughs> Brian. Yeah. What time is it? Yeah. It's pickle time! On every set, Brian eats a pickle. Every time. And we need a new face for the... the, the. And action. That's what the... Sorry. Blooper. Yeah. Oh, I know what it is after I screwed it up. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Atlas. If you ask anybody that I worked with, they would tell you that I'm a, I'm a pretty fair guy. And I forgot the rest of it, I'm so sorry, I'm a piece of I'm sorry. And I don't trust him now. Why not? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm rolling. I'm rolling too. 169. Okay. No, I, I'll tell you. I can see you in the shot right now, though. Get out of the shot! We're ready, yeah, we're... What the fuck? <laughs> I'm really not fucked. It's catching. I feel like I have very little skill. I'm, I'm trying to find, like, my, my lane in the roads here. Like, some people are good at, you know, producing and directing and writing and acting and uh, even narration. I, so far, I've, I know that I can at least get in and out of a vehicle. It doesn't look that good. Like, I, I don't do it very well, but... I believe in you. I think you're going to go places getting in and out of vehicles. Okay. <laughs> wow. Uh, I mean, that... Uh, Thank, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. I yes, I sincerely I wasn't, mean I wasn't, that. I wasn't really prepared for, for a compliment. <laughs> I sincerely I had, mean no, that. I'm not, hang on just a second. <laughs> I'm not crying. I'm not. I'm not. You sure? No, no. I'm not. I'm not. All right. Leave me alone.